Hello everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be going over a couple storage options from scrapbook.com that I got, as well as some new products and some new to me products. And so I just thought maybe this would answer some questions if you were curious about size, sturdiness, scale, quality, all that. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to share is this mat I got. This mat is from Altenew and I love the um, center piece here where you could put your cards so it's you know all mapped out for you for an A2 size card so that was cool I needed a new mat mine was getting super junky and I mean if you have a junky mat it's, you can probably clean it with some alcohol um, and some cleaner but with filming it was just making a lot of glare with all the grossness and then the other side as well so it's two-sided mat and this one you have the 12 by 12 uh, piece of paper out here so that's pretty cool I really like this mat I think it's a great size and um, it's just really really nice really sturdy all right so let's move into organization so I have a couple things I wanted to share um, that you know sometimes when you see things online um, you're not sure of scale you can't really tell so and I wanted to review the products and kind of let you know what my thoughts were on them so this is a stadium type of a uh, organizer and this is scrapbook.com and I um, love the price point the price point is great for organizers. it's very very sturdy so although it is made it's not plastic it's made from cardboard it's extremely thick and sturdy cardboard with this really nice um, coating so it's very well made uh, so this is great and this one is deep it goes all the way down right here and then this one is just about to here so so it goes down to about here okay so I have you know the stuff you can stick in here you have this section um, I have my paper pads here this is stuff I'm gonna organize um, based on things I want to use upcoming so just lots of cool things that you can fit in here so you can use this for obviously anything you know, close tools you want to keep by, close tools you want to keep by, <laughs> tools you want to keep by close to you, um, things like that. So this is the first one. Love it. It's, it's really great. Okay, let's move into the next one. This one is the 6x6 paper pack holder, which I think is awesome. And it, for obvious reasons, you know, you can... Um, store six by six paper which is great because I have a ton and I never get to see it because it's just tucked away so that's cool but I saw Marina Cole designs she also uses this if you want to stand it up and use it for storage for things because your big stamps will fit in here for example this one right here it's one of those large stamps it's even in the packaging that I put it in and it fits beautifully in there. So if you want something to store your large stamps as well, that's, this is a really cool product. Made from the same stuff, extremely sturdy. Um, so that's that one. The next I have here is um, this storage unit, again by scrapbook.com, made from the same material and the drawers come out. So you have this drawer with different um, inserts which is great and then you have one with no inserts so you can store things and it has four drawers so the other two are just like this one and you can put this is a great place to put your small ink pads so you can see these fit perfectly if you have ink spots you can fit a whole bunch in here so that's great um, but anyway I, I won't go through the myriad of things that you can store you have your own storage things but it's just a really great uh, option and again it is affordable because of the, probably because of the material, but I'm here for that. Moving into some new storage options for paper packs. So I'm going to do a video upcoming about um, some ways that you can store some things uh, to make your card making faster and easier. But these right here, these are four and three quarters by four and three quarters. And they're great for stamp sets as well. If you wanted to um, store stamps in here you know the little ones that you never know what to do with <laughs> they'll fit in here nicely um, so that's great but you also can like I'm gonna show you um, in one of my videos is use it for sentiments you can break them up by type um, things like that so 
I got this size, I got this size, and then I also got the very large size. So I can put projects in here that I'm working on, which are really, really great. This this quality of this envelope is amazing. It's very sturdy. Um, it's nice and thick. It, it's just good quality. This next piece here is the wall mounting bar and then the um, additional pieces for it. So. I got this. I'm going to hang these on my wall. I'm in a new craft studio, so I had some space to put these, and I love this concept. So you put it on the wall like this, and then because this is behind it, there's a little lip here. And so you take this, um, they sell these in three different sizes, and you put that on just like that. So once it's hung, you can just slide it up and down. And, you know, there's other accessories that you can buy, but just think about what things you could have with a lip on it that you can hang. So I think this is great. You can put little hooks and then um, hang your scissors. You can do all kinds of things with this. So I love this storage option for my wall. So this next storage item, in case you were wondering what this looked like close up, so this is the scrapbook.com storage unit where you can store a few different things actually. So this one right here is um, a one ounce bottle of paint that could fit in there. Uh, your Nouveau drops could fit in there and the great thing is that they're upside down because that's really how you know it's going to make your, your projects easiest to, to work with. But then also I'm going to use it for my blending tools because they fit perfectly. So that's going to be great to keep right on my desk, easy to reach, easy to use, and covered as well so that I don't stick my hands in it and get all inky. <laughs> but I like this solution. Next one I can't say enough good things about. I love this product. <laughs> this is a punch board from We Are Memory Keepers. I don't have, I have one punch board. So why did I purchase this? Because of this. I can't even get this into frame. This is as, as far as we go here. But I have so many of my tools in here. I think I have 13 or 14 in here right now. But I have, um, this, this is a judge-free zone, okay? So if you're like, why do you have all of these things? You know, judge-free. Just love me for who I am. Right, I have uh, magnetic boards, magnetic boards, I have my trimmer, my, that's my tonic trimmer. So that's all in just one block. Then I have the lonely punch board, <laughs> I have my score tool, I have my mini misty, my regular misty, I have cutting trimming tools, this one, this one, I have one, two, three, three clipboards, I have my 12 by 12 scoreboard, and another cutting mat. Boom. It fits all of that. So, and it's, it looks nice. Everything is nice and neat. Everything is organized. It's all ready to go off to the side. I seriously love this product. So yes, this is definitely worth it. I think this is not even, the price point isn't even that high, but boy, I feel a lot more organized and I can grab this stuff so much faster. Some other things I wanted to share with you. Um, I had to resupply my alcohol blending solution. I bought this dye because I've been eyeing it up forever. It's the Sizzix Biggs dye, which means this is the actual size of it. Uh, but my, I just think this is so fun and just retro and it's cute and I love it. So I was on sale, I believe, so I picked that up. up a bunch of inks for reinkers. I had to get the new over coffee color because, you know, it's Catherine Puller and it's coffee. To, aside from just the reinkers, I picked up, let's see, this is um, Delusions Paint White Linen. This one is Liquid Acrylic Alch Art Alchemy Titanium White. This one is Acrylic Paint White from Diane, no, oh my god, Wakely, Dina Wakely. Um, acrylic paint. Okay, so the reason I got those is because I am thinking about doing a um, which white paint gives the best splatters because a lot of times I notice that my paint splatters will turn the color of the cardstock underneath if I did ink blending. So I thought it would be kind of cool to do a little experiment. Let me know if you're interested in that. I'll be using these three, uh, Ranger um, and a couple others that I have, gouache, 
you know, watercolor. So anyway, just wanted to uh, get those and maybe have that for a future video. If there's an interest, let me know. I also picked up this resin UV lamp because I am getting into testing out some products. Um, so I thought this was going to be super fun. So I will let you know how those projects go. I'm going to try to diversify the channel a little bit because I'm into a lot of other things as well as paper crafting. So you'll start to see some DIYs, you'll start to see some home renovations, things like that on the channel. Um, and I believe you can customize if you only want to see the card notifications, you can pop those up as well. But anyway, so I also picked up for my letter board because I want to do a better job at updating my letter board. I picked up this one's coffee and wine and this one's love. How cute are those? Look at this. It's like glittery. Happy, heart, so sweet. So I got those and then I got some um, letters here. I just picked up some extra die cutting plates um, because, you know, you can never have too many of those. <laughs> And then um, this, I got these, which this is excessive because I thought it was only one. But it's 12 pieces of those little trays because I always have a hard time putting back my, um, my stuff by picking it up with my finger. So I put my little embellishments in here, my sequins and things like that. I can pick them out straight from here and then toss them back into their container. Which it seems like a small thing, but it is helpful. <laughs> Very helpful. So I got that's a 12 piece of those. Which is good if you want to do like a mix of sequins, right? I mean, that's that's good. And then this was my free gift. So check out scrapbook.com every day for free gifts, free items that they're giving away. This is the one I got, which is an art impressions one with this cutie in the snow. So that's super cute. Okay, so upcoming projects that I will be doing a video on and working on. I was so excited to get the new stencils. I am a huge fan of scrapbook.com stencils. I love the size. I can use them on slimline, A2, 5x7. I think they're great. So this one right here is called Wave. And uh, this is just a lot of swirlies, almost like, you know, just waves. It's, it's cool. That's going to be super fun to do in different colors and glitter. Uh, this one's Vintage Floral. I'm trying to sh uh, show it so that there's not too much glare. So hopefully you can see that. That would be fun. Oh, I love this is Zebra. And there's another one. This one's Cheetah. So Zebra and Cheetah. So fun. That's going to be a blast to do. <clears throat> this one is called Cacti. Cacti. And then this one is Floral Springs. So you can see all those floral um, accents in there. Very pretty. So I'm going to be playing with those. I'm also wanting to journal more. So I am going to uh, get to using these cards here. Now I opened up one of them, but this is in the city and I'm going to journal and try to scrapbook more this in 2021. But let me open this up. So I'll open, I'll go through that in a second, but this one is favorite holiday recipes and you can see how fun. So cute. This one is celebrate the bride. These are journaling pockets, so they go um, horizontal and vertical, which I think is so awesome. And then a mini to fit into your binders. This is little one pocket cards. This is uh, big plans. <laughs> I'm ready. Ready for 21. And this is everyday moments. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Those are the pocket cards I'm going to be playing with soon. I can't wait to start getting into that and making more time for my craft time and my just giving back to me a little bit too. Um, 2020 has been hard for everybody for all different reasons. And so I'm ready to kind of recenter, refocus and get to playing. I'm also going to add some of those to my, um, my memory decks. So I love this thing. I'm going to have such a good time playing with it. In fact, I got these uh, tabs with it and I was like, hmm, would I use this for addresses? And absolutely I'm going to because I love the idea of it being right on my desk. Whenever I have to send somebody something like a card, I have to go into my computer, pull up the file, you search their name, but this I'm just going to go bloop bloop, just like that, sound effects and all. And I have more information coming on this uh, in a future video. 
All right, that's it. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'm really excited to play with this stuff and show you and yay. Okay, so that was the most unenthusiastic yay <laughs> I've ever given you all. I do apologize for that. It was early in the morning. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, for checking out these products. If you're interested in anything or seeing it up close on the site, you can head to scrapbook.com in the links below and that will take you over there. And if you want to link up on other platforms outside of YouTube, you can find my link tree link below. Click that. You'll see all the other social media areas we can link up. So thank you again. I hope you all are having a wonderful week and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.